So one final game of the season, two teams vying for European football. It's going to be an epic battle here tomorrow night. No doubt about that. I mean, you, you start the season and, and Europe, Europe's your target. So, And there's two teams that no doubt that was one of their targets at the start of the season. So unfortunately one of us won't be able to take the next step. So you got to expect it's going to be a big, big battle for both. And to win any game you need to do a certain number of things well. Against Lawrence specifically, what are the key areas that you think you need to do better than them to get the upper hand? Well, the last time we played them here, uh, just before the split, I think the first half we weren't, we weren't, uh, we didn't play as well as we could. Second half we were better. Um, they're, look, they're a team that, that they're a possession-based team. They move the ball really well if you allow them to. They've got pace and quality in wide areas up front. You know they circulate the ball really well. So look, we know what to expect from them. Um, it's getting to the point of the season where sometimes you know people are carrying little knocks and niggles. And I'm sure they're the same as us. You know, I know they had a hard game against Korean just 72 hours before this one. I think a couple of boys limped off. So we're the same. We're, we're, we're knocked around, um, as are they. But look, it's it's going to be a hard, hard game. If we're not on the top of our game, we, we won't win. Um, we're a club with a proud history. Many people watching this interview might have seen the documentary recently about our success in Vienna in 1914. Nowadays, so why is European football important to the club? Is it financial? Is it prestige? Is it about attracting players? I think it's all of those. Um, you know, qualifying for Europe allows you to be on a bigger stage, and it does help with the recruitment of players. It helps with the prestige of the club. It helps with the mood of the fans. It helps with the the buy-in of the fans. It helps with the buy-in of the players. And of course, there's the people only mention the financial gains. Which you know we are we're a business like any other, and the financial rewards are, are a positive thing. But we're also a football club, and it's it's the 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 emotion around a football club is a big thing, and, and no doubt qualifying for Europe creates a really positive environment uh, for the coming months ahead. And then finally, one more match this season, one more team talk this season. What will you be saying to the team in the dressing room before they head out tomorrow? Evening? Look, I, I don't think there's much motivation needed in terms of me trying to speak to them to motivate them. We'll just give them their final. We had our, our final video session tonight before training. They're prepared. Um, they know what to do. We'll remind them tomorrow in our pre-game meeting. And sometimes in these type of games, it's not about getting their, them too hot before they go on the pitch. You'd say you need cool heads in games like this as well. And sometimes getting too emotional or too too hot before the game isn't a good thing. But they'll be ready. The players are ready. I can see that they're ready. And they want to win the game. And if they ap apply themselves from minute one to minute 95 the way we can, then we're, 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 we're confident that we can come out here with a positive result, no doubt about it.